The town of Surfside Beach has reached a new milestone. The town's fire department now has the same capabilities as an EMS crew. WMBF's Julia okay. Richardson spoke to members of the department about this achievement. And Julia, how will this impact residents and visitors who come there? Rachel, members of the department are calling this a huge step, and they can now administer advanced life support techniques that they couldn't before. An initiative that Surfside Fire Chief Rob Clemens has wanted to accomplish since he took the position, making Surfside Fire Department an advanced life support agency. It's going to be a game changer for us. This is kind of our go-to bag. It comes in on every call. Even though the department can't transfer a patient to a medical facility, department members can now administer IVs, EKGs, and certain medicines they weren't able to before. Whether you're a citizen in town or whether you're on the beach enjoying our you know, beautiful beaches, you will have a, you have a uh, team ready to respond. Fire Captain Chauncey Kelly says that the team is often able to get to the scene before a traditional EMS crew. The fast response time is needed, especially as he says a paramedic shortage has spread across the country. Uh, with them being busy or with other transport units being tied up or coming from a ways away possibly, this gives us the opportunity to provide life-saving care. Members of the department tell me the ALS equipment costs about $30,000 and it was funded by the town. Chief Clemens says city officials were immediately on board knowing the benefits of the designation. To have their support to put it as a budget of initiative and then for them to fund it uh, is significant because they realize that you know, um, time is, um, is how we're going to save people. Getting there quicker is going to save lives. And it's important to note that the Surfside Beach Fire Department is one of few in the state that has these capabilities without having actual ambulances. In Surfside Beach, Julia Richardson, WMBF News.